Yo, what is up, you beautiful nerds? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're doing something I'm freaking psyched for. As you can tell, <laughs> we are going to be reviewing the DC Multiverse Flash from McFarlane Toys, of course. This is crazy. I'm super excited to get into this now. I'm collecting the Justice League. Uh, it's more money down the drain, but it's worth it, guys. Real quick, before we even get it open, check this guy out. He looks super sick. Definitely an awesome toy to pick up. There's a side of the box. There's basically just a Justice League for you. Um, mostly, I think I'm excited to pick up either Aquaman or Superman after this guy. I'm not entirely sure which one. There he is right there. Other side of the box. Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and get this opened up and we'll check him out. Alrighty guys, we got this outside of a box, and I don't know if you can tell by my voice, I gotta kinda like calm myself down. This figure is ridiculously amazing on like all levels of everything impossible. But um, this figure does come with the base, as you can see, and it comes with these awesome effects. They look amazing, um, I'm just showing you one of them, there's four in total. They look absolutely awesome, and when you put them on him, they look Super ridiculous, super crazy. Uh, looks like he's actually just legit taken off and going. And one thing I can say about this figure is the posability is in this absolutely crazy. It works really well with this guy. Um, one thing though with these, they do fall off quite easily. But of course, it's more, this is more like a statue. In my opinion, it's just going to kind of chill. You can wrap it around really nice and it stays on. But um, yeah, overall, this figure already is absolutely insane. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take these off, and we're going to go over a figure, of course. Now, I do got to say, this is one of my favorite figures I've picked up recently. These joints, are, of course, are a little tight. Alrighty, let's go, guys. Let's get into it. Here is the front of a figure. We kind of fix the waist right there. Alrighty. The armor is insane. The little flash symbol right there is awesome. But detailing is great on this guy. There's so much to him, it's insane. So let's just do a real quick 360, turn him around. The back armor is just as awesome. They put just as much detail into it, in my opinion. The back of the helmet looks really nice. I would say mask, but I don't know. I feel like it's more of a helmet. I don't know. His, his suit's kind of more like high tech than I feel like the uh, Flash has in the TV show. There's his legs. Looks awesome. Alrighty, guys. So this guy has a lot of articulation. Which works really well considering you do want to pose him running. His head goes all the way back, of course. And going back, it goes about that far. Say that far down. And real quick, the face sculpt for the character, I gotta say, is dead on. It looks really great. The eyes are a little weird. But, I mean, you're painting something that small. It's gonna have something, you know, <laughs> look a little odd. But anyways, the shoulder does go all the way around. And it extends. Let's see. Okay, about that far. I'm always worried about breaking the joints on these guys when they're that stiff. I just, I don't want to, you know, obviously break a $20 toy. And then uh, right here, you actually have movement. You got a swivel right there as well. You have the elbow joint, of course. And then his hands do go, they do have a swivel on a little ball joint there. Really good, uh, really good movement with the hands, which is, once again, important because you want to pose this guy considering... Everything it comes with looks absolutely insane. Of course, you got the little torso right there. Kind of moves a little bit, not much. There's not much lead way. Am I about to force it? So, yeah. Right here, his uh, another torso spot does go all the way around. Okay. And then his legs are really good articulation. I got to say, they go up really pretty good high. He's not basically any pose you should be able to do with this guy. There's a joint right there. A joint? No. Okay. Well, maybe it is. No. It's okay. No, it's not. I was about to say, what the heck? Okay. Anyways, his uh, foot's on a ball joint and swivel, of course. And you got that right there, which is actually really important for running, in my opinion, when you're posing them. It makes it a lot better when he's on his tippy toes. Now, that's really far, but you get the point. It looks really nice overall. 
But I'd say this figure, I would give it a 12 out of 10. It is absolutely amazing. Definitely worth picking up. I was always uh, kind of more obsessed with the Barry Allen from the TV shows, The Flash. Um, but I don't know. Watching the movie and everything, this guy's pretty cool. And then they had that little crossover event when they both, I guess, realized there's still more timelines. And this guy was just figuring out there's more timelines. Alrighty, let's see how easy he can. Stands up perfectly. That's what I love to see. So, of course, like I said, you got the stand. You have all the effects with it. And, yeah, that is really dope. And um, something I did not know because I never paid too much attention. This has cards, too. So, I guess all the uh, McFarlane toys have cards, which is really cool. So, yeah. Hope you guys liked this review. Let me know if you guys did. Let me know if you guys like a plain white background. Or should I add something into it? I've been thinking about it. So let me know down in the comment section below. Little rant. This guy is awesome. I love it. Definitely pick him up. I was not going to do it because of the size. I didn't want to have to start a whole new shelf for like 7 inch figures when I have mostly 6 inch in my collection. But because of, of course, Mr. Blood Sports, I'm already going there with a 7 inch collection. So, yeah. <laughs> But anyways, hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in the next review. Deuces, everybody.